Well, I think Eisenhower was very supportive of the idea of intelligence. He learned about intelligence in World War II, of course, and particularly the magnificent intelligence contribution of telling him what the Germans were saying to each other. So he knew what the Germans were doing in most cases, where they were going, what, what, their, what their problems were, so he could exploit it. That whole side of World War II hardly appears in the history books, but it was critical to a commander who, well, like, like Eisenhower. So he came in with an inherent, very positive idea of what intelligence could do. Uh, he had also seen what the resistance movements could do within Europe during World War II. So the idea of CIA encouraging similar popular movements, paramilitary, political, was very compatible. He understood how to put all the elements together to make a general strategy, not to just think of soldiers or sailors or air forces, but think of the whole pattern of how you deal with a hostile power like the Soviet Union at that time. And on that, the intelligence which gives you an understanding of it, the intelligence that allows you to penetrate into the other side, all that became very compatible with his thinking, of course, although he still wanted to be the commander. And that was right. He should have been the commander, and he did it extremely well. He had his staffs to review things, make recommendations for or against certain activities, and then he would make the decision. But uh, nothing went on out of his control. He had full control of the situation, and he could apply it to meet his strategy at any one point.